He's right up under here. Bo, that's something there. Down in the bayou state, Patty and David's water source is crawling with cottonmouths, one of the most venomous snakes in North America. That one hit you, wouldn't make it to the hospital. Me and Daddy were walking uh, the creek again, right here by the site, and came up on another cottonmouth. It's just as big as the other one that we killed. Daddy, don't you fall and he gets you now. Don't fall. Oh, get him, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, my God, look at his mouth. Hit him again. Okay, let him up. Oh, uh uh. Daddy, yeah, uh, he ain't dead. That ain't good. I mean, that's close to our site. It's too close right there, but that's two of them. To see how fast it moves. Mm-hmm. We'll have us a burial ground back here for a long with snow. Yeah. Oh, st <laughs> Ought to hit. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you one day, Daddy. That's two big ones. Yeah. Night runs is what concerns me the most. You know, you out here, you can't see something like this. That's a good one, buddy. They've got to be coming out of that beaver pond and coming up this creek. Coming up this creek fishing. I think we need to get us some mothballs and throw out because that's supposed to make the snakes stay away. They put these things in their house mainly for moths. Yep. We've already killed two water mothskins, you know, and I've got an idea of using mothballs and maybe just hanging it in some trees around the perimeter of our still site. Snakes navigate and locate their prey by using their tongues to capture scent. The pungent naphthalene contained in mothballs works as a snake repellent, temporarily disorienting the serpent and causing it to retreat. Yeah, hang on on that tree there across that creek. Heck, all I smell is mothballs now. They don't do it. It's all the way around us now. My idea is, is that that scent will go down that creek right straight to where that den is where we killed those two snakes and maybe it'll keep the rest of them that away you know and they not float up that creek and come toward us my dog if i was a snake i wouldn't come around here i don't even want to come around moonshine it's different every day you never know if you're coming home alive or you, if you're going home arrested or what we got a lot of orders for pear and mayhaw so we're gonna get to work mashing in all these barrels all i want to do is make liquor <laughs> 